All right, it's uh, time or going to be time pretty soon for commodity investors to become a little bit more cautious. Um, when a market, you know, I, I, I see this a lot, the recency bias uh, takes over and traders just assume that the trends that have been in place uh, are going to continue to to um, uh, be the norm for the foreseeable future. So um, commodity traders are becoming uh, extremely bold and complacent right now. Um, since that bottom uh, last year in uh, March in the stock market, April and the CRB, commodities have gone almost straight up here. And uh, and traders are just extrapolating that that this is just going to keep going up at this rapid rate. Um, the problem is is that <clears throat> we're still early in a new bull market. Now that that extrapolation of um, you know only higher prices may work in the stock market because I think stocks may be starting a final bubble phase. So so this. Um, rationale may not apply to stocks, but commodities are in the very early stages of a new bull market. I would call this the baby bull. And at some point, the baby bull ends and uh, you get either a big pullback or you get a long sideways consolidation. And then the market uh, starts a, a much more uh, gradual, you know, it starts to climb the wall of worry. Uh, and, and the angle of ascent, uh, decreases significantly for you know, many years until you get to that final phase, blow off phase that uh, is the is the bubble phase. Um, so we've, you know, commodities have just gone straight up um, for a year and a half now. I, I, I'm not trying to call a top here. I, I actually think gold or oil probably has to break through that $85, $86 resistance zone and maybe go to a, to $100 between now and early spring. And uh, and then at that point, I, I suspect we're going to get um, our, our period of sideways chop or, you know, a, a kind of a scary correction like happened in gold after the baby bull was done in gold. So um, I think traders need to start adjusting uh, their uh, their um, outlook for commodities and uh, understand that that just because this has rallied very strongly and gone you know almost straight up for a year and a half that doesn't mean that it's going to go straight up for the next year and a half and I would say the odds are it probably is not now stocks on the other hand might might be a different story because this has the look of maybe starting a final parabolic uh, bubble phase here um, you know if if the Nasdaq breaks through 16,000 here maybe on the second or third attempt and we really start to take off to the upside then I would say that this is a final bubble phase and in that case you probably can extrapolate this move into the into the future but uh, the, those final bubble um, parabolic moves usually only last four to six months so Again, even in the stock market, which may just keep going higher and higher, um, it's it's probably going to be limited. And then depending on how far it does stretch, then the crash could be huge uh, when that bubble pops. But uh, if there is if there is one market where you may you know, want to extrapolate uh, the past into the future, it's probably stocks. Commodities, still early in a new secular bull market. We, we're we probably getting close to finishing the, the baby bull rally. And then after that, things are going to calm down and the, the gains are going to come much slower uh, as uh, commodities climb the, the wall of worry.